Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Now we are going to solve one Python program. So write a function. Up to now, we see the programs. Here we are going to write the function. Function called sum digits. So that means the name of the function is name of the function is sum digits. Sum digits that is given an integer number so that means for this we are going to give one argument so that is integer and returns the sum of digits of the number so that means so this function return one value that means if I enter sum of digits to 153 this is the number so what is the digits? 1 plus 5 plus 3. 9. So 9 is written here. Okay. Now, so up to now, we write the programs. In this program, we are going to write one function. So first, we see the logic. So how we can find the digits of a number? For 153, so what are the digits? 1, 5, 3. But in programming languages, we can find the digits from backward. So what are the digits in our view 3 5 1 so that means how we can know that means 1 5 3 percentage 10 so that means what is the remainder 153 percentage 10 means we get the remainder 3 and we can perform 153 by 10 so that means the remaining is 15 that means for 153 what is the remainder the last one is the remainder the remaining part is next number that means now I am taking 15 percentage 10 what is the remainder 5 and what is the number 15 by 10 that means 1 so next I am taking 1 percentage 10 what is the number what is the remainder 1 1 by 10 that equals to 0 now we are taking 0 that means we can do this process until we get 0. Here 3, 5, 1. These are the digits. Now we are going to add these digits. That's it. That is the logic. So here is the logic. You are taking a number. For example, number equals to 153. 153 greater than 0. It is true. So sum equals to what is the sum value initially? 0 plus num percentage 10. 153 percentage 10 means 3. That means sum equals to 3. And num equals to num by 10. That means now the num value equals to 15. 15 greater than 0, true. Enter into this. Sum equals to 3 plus 15 by 10. That means 1. Sorry. 15 percentage 10. That means 5. That means 8. This is 8. And num equals to num by 10. That means it is 1. 1 greater than 0, true. 1 percent is 10, 1. So 8 plus 1, 9. And 1 by 10, 0. 0 greater than 0, false. Now, so this is the sum. This is the sum, 9. We return this value. So now we are going to see, so how to define function in Python. It is very simple. So now you see how I can convert this as a function. So how we can define the function python means by using def keyword very simple def next function name so what is the function name here sum digits sum underscore digits in this we can accept one argument the argument is num that's it call so this is the definition so after completion of this we can return the sum that's it return sum now this is the function definition now we are going to call the call this function how so first we are going to read the value integer value so x equals to int of input enter a number now whatever you are entering from keyboard that is stored in x 
Now you call this function, that's it. It returns some value, so S1 to store the sum equals to what is the function name? Sum dot digits of x, that's it. Now this function is called. After completion of the execution, it returns some value that is stored in S1. So you are going to print that S1, that's it. Print S1. So that means the execution is starting from here. For example, x equals to in this case 153. So some digits 153. The function is called number equals to 153. So already discussed that what happened. Uh, sum equals to 9 that is written that is assigned to S1. So print S1 it prints 9. That's it. So now we see the execution of the program functions how we can define a function by using def keyword so this is the function name so this is the argument here we are returning the value now we see the execution one five three returns nine 